There was one Eustatius, bishop of Antioch, a confessor and sound in the faith. This man, because he was very zealous for the truth and hated the Arian heresy and would not receive those who adopted its tenets, is falsely accused before the Emperor Constantine and a charge invented against him that he had insulted his mother. And immediately he is driven into banishment and a great number of presbyters and deacons with him. And immediately after the banishment of the bishop, those whom he would not admit into the clerical order on account of their impiety were not only received into the church by them, but were even appointed the greater part of them to be bishops, in order that they might have accomplices in their impiety. Did they then stop here? No, for Eutropius, who was bishop of Andrianople, a good man and excellent in all respects, because he had often convicted Eusebius and had advised them who came that way not to comply with his impious dictates suffered the same treatment as Eustatius and was cast out of his city and his church. And Euphratian of Pelania, Chimatius of Peltus, Carterius of Antaradus, Asclepius of Gaza, Cyrus of Beroa in Syria, Diodorus of Asia, Domnion of Sirmium, and Elenatius of Tripolis were merely known to hate the heresy, and some of them, on one pretense or another, some without any, they removed under the authority of royal letters, drove them out of their cities, and appointed others, whom they knew to be impious men, to occupy the churches in their stead. Saint Athanasius, History of the Arians, Part 1